Uh, Gilbert, UFC, um, big fight. It was obviously supposed to be uh, Amanda Nunez versus uh, versus friend of the show, Juliana Pena, but uh, Pena and May was reportedly suffered broken ribs while in training camp. So uh, obviously, Irene Aldana had to take over for UFC 289. Um, from what I saw, I mean, I'm just going to throw in my... Uh, obviously, Amanda Nunez retired. She put down the... She laid down the gloves. Uh, she thanked everybody. So, um, but it, it was an all right... I mean, uh, Aldana, I thought, had at times, like, she was doing good stuff against Nunez, but she wouldn't capitalize. Like, it felt like she was kind of, like, running scared a little bit. So she was kind of like... She would, like, obviously she was blocking. And, like, Nunez would try and hit her. She'd, uh, she'd counter. She'd do some good stuff. But then she kind of like would lay off and not really go at her. Remember, we saw Juliana Pena would go at Nunez. She would come at her and and, and she would revert and she wasn't scared of going at her. Well, that that's kind of not what Aldana did. It, it kind of felt like she kind of ran scared. Uh, I was surprised that Nunez didn't knock her out or, or tap her out. It, it took her for a while. The one thing that I was surprised at was there were times where Nunez would take her down to the ground and then she stand back up. And she wouldn't like pursue ground game. So I was kind of like, I didn't know if that was mind games or what that was. But uh, for it being Nunez, supposedly her last fight, eh, like I, I, I kind of would have wanted her to go guns a blazing with uh, Pena, um, obviously. Oh, yeah. But uh, I got to show you this, Gilbert. Uh, friend of the show, she was not happy at all. Watch this video. Uh, of Pena after uh, when Amanda Nunez announced her retirement. <laughs> she already knew. Don't compare yourself to Anderson Silva. Do not compare yourself to Anderson Silva. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, man. as you can tell juliana pena i wouldn't put it past juliana i mean because we met her and we know how she is she said it i grew up with four brothers i know how it is i wouldn't be surprised if she didn't come out and start calling out amanda nunez in through the media try and get her maybe try and get her to come out and but i mean i think when and i'm i'm just being completely honest when a Brazilian fighter, ha they have honor. They fight with honor. They fight the way they want to do it. I think when they call retirement, that's basically it. Like, I, I don't see her coming back. But um, but I know Amanda, I know Juliana Pena is pissed. And you know she really wanted, like, you could tell her, the look in her face, she really wanted that fight against Nunez. And, and she's disappointed in, in what happened. Yeah, you know, like. You know, Amanda's done so much in her career. She's destroyed many, you know, opponents. And that's why, you know, you know, I wish the Mexican would have pulled it off. That would have been four champions right there. Oh, but yeah. like you're saying, she fought a little timid. That's because the reputation that Nunez has. She's a hard hitter. And that's why she when you it's like the whole Mike Tyson, like you lose the fight before you go into the ring or the cage because it's a mental edge there. But with Pena, she never she wasn't afraid. That's why she was throwing it down for the two fights. And it just feels like that was unfinished business for Nunez. Like just if you would have just taken care of her and beating her twice okay nobody's gonna say you know what you, you did your career you dominated by you destroyed your girl ronda rousey and her career took a dive after that hey, and then her career hold on i got something planned for that go ahead <laughs> okay 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 uh so it feels a little unfinished but then again it's like you know what you did a lot in your career you're gonna be a hall of famer i don't think you're on the anderson silver level because that was really high but she i think she's a goat when it comes to or is it GW, whatever. What do you want to call no, it? No, I mean, you, women fighting. there's a Mount, there's a Mount Rushmore for women's UFC combat sports, and I would put I would put her up. Yeah, there. I, like R Rousey had like the most. Rousey has to, Rousey's face is obviously up there because she was the George yeah. Washington first one. Boom. Oh, but this like Cyborg was also overhyped, but Nunez was the one throwing it down, yeah. uh, doing her thing. So you can't fault somebody for that. And maybe like you know, it could be also like uh like you know what Teofimo Lopez is doing. It's about like getting paid and like. Hey, if you want me to fight Pena again, you want me to come out of retirement. Also, it builds a little buzz too when you go away for two years. So there's some angle there, but I, it feels more like a legit retirement to me. Yeah. But because again, like how much money was Dana White going to put up for a third fight? Like, I don't, how, is it really that popular? I don't know. I want to see it. I don't know how high a popularity it is. 
but we'll see if she's true in a year or two. About well, Aaron everybody remembers game. what happened in that fight where uh, Pena was bleeding like completely and she kept on going and she kept on fighting and and instead of tapping out or instead of getting knocked out she went until the end so i feel like people really respected her after that and i feel like people do want to see peña and, and nunez especially because she's probably one of the only women that have really gone at uh at nunez in the last few years yeah she's probably been the best one to combat her because like we said she doesn't get scared when it comes to that so uh definitely that but i just want to there's two. I'm conflicted here, Gilbert, because I do want to thank Amanda Nunez for what she did. Uh, Amanda, we're, <laughs> we're we're forever grateful for this ass whooping. Wow. Uh, I want to thank I, her. I, 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 this I was actually there, by the way. Rings, okay, oh, sorry. really? I'm there. still angry though because this sent Ronda Rousey to WWE. Oh, that, you know, that oh. pisses me off. So you kind of hate her now, so, Amanda, for doing that I, for you. I would never say I hate her because if she put me <laughs> in a, a leg lock or a chokehold, I, I, that's it. I'm KO. But I would just want to thank her for put like bringing Ronda Rousey yeah. back to You can put on the full reality. video, by the way. You, you, it'll be, it's a quick fight. <laughs> yeah, no, no, definitely. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I just want to thank her for bringing her back to reality and everything. But oh, at the oh, same time, it's oh, like, man. It's like uh, she humbled her, but then now she's in WWE, and and I'm hearing rumors about. <laughs> Don't get flagged, that, by the way. Your YouTube. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to, but stuff that's going on with Ronda Rousey behind the stage, I'm like, oh god. I was behind that that uh the fence there when she was trying to hold on for dear life, by the way. Oh really? Did yeah. you try and help her? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> remember. Her I just remember seeing her like, boom, boom, boom. Like, oh man, this is a beating. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, adios, yeah. buenas noches. Okay. I know. I wonder if a man unions will come to WWE and give her another. Uh, there you go. Another okay, uh, so I'm behind that fence. I remember seeing all that. Here we go. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, I wonder if she'll uh, she'll go back to WWE and give her a ten piece McNugget. Uh, nice. But uh, obviously, uh, Gilbert uh, Oliveira won again. Uh, first round KO. You know it's funny. So I was at the soccer game, right? And I'm watching. I'm watching the fight. I take my eyes off of the damn screen for two minute for a minute. And I look down, and Oliveira's already celebrating. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? But uh, obviously, uh, a big win for him. Um, Islam next? Yeah, why not, man? You 24 and one. He's 24 and one, dude. Like, he's pretty good. Yeah, he beat him in those Russian fighters or something. Other cyborgs. Yeah, dude. maybe do it in, uh, I don't know, maybe October again. It's a year away from the rematch and make it happen again. And Charles Oliveira is a really good fighter. Yeah, uh, that was kind of a surprise, but that became the rise of Islam. So let's do it again, or he retires. I don't know. <laughs> ah, yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting for sure. 